Welcome to Part 5 of our Fundamentals of Excel 2010 course. In preceding videos, we saw how to enter in some calculations. For example, we saw how to enter in the sum function, and we also saw how to enter in the average function. There's a shortcut for finding the total and the averages inside of Excel. It's called the Auto Sum or the Auto Average tool. To see how it works, I'm going to go ahead and highlight these cells and then press Delete. I'm now going to go ahead and click on cell E4. And you're going to notice I'm on the Home tab of my ribbon. And over towards the right hand edge, you're going to see the Auto Sum tool. I'm going to go ahead and click on Auto Sum. And when I do that, you're going to notice that it grabbed the three cells to the left of where I had selected. And when I hit Enter, it puts in the total for me. I can click Auto Sum again. And again, it grabs those three cells and then enter and click it one more time and that time it actually went up and it grabbed the cells. So I need to actually fix it. But fortunately it automatically highlights the cell references for me. So I can just go ahead and highlight those three cells and hit enter and I get that value. By default if the auto sum can sum numbers above it always will. If it can't find numbers to sum above as it was in the first two instances, it will sum items to the left. Now let's go ahead and click on cell B7 and I'll click Auto Sum again. And you'll see it put in that total. I'll click it again and one more time. And that's as quick and easy as it is to put in totals using the Auto Sum tool. I also can put in averages the same way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on cell B8 and then I'm going to click the drop down to the right of auto sum. You can see there's a little drop down arrow there. And you're going to see there are quite a few functions I can do this with. Sum, average, count, min and max. I'm going to select average and you're going to see that it put in the average function for me instead of sum. I'll hit tab and I can do the same thing for each one of these cells. And there are my averages using the auto average tool. 